My name is Mirwais Jalil. I'm 17. I come in 2008, May. There was no life in Afghanistan for, for young people and for people, so my family wanted a good life for me and for my cousin. There was no life, was people dying there. There's no life, a life worth about 10p over there. My uncle talked to agent and the agent told us we will be okay on the way and, uh, and listen to what I say and listen to uh, which people you're going to be with and things that you're going to be safe and you're not going to be running in the mountains, you're not going to be starving, we will look after you good and my uncle said yeah that's what, you, that's what my uncle agreed with and my uncle said you're going to be go with him and then we followed him. From Pakistan to Iran, we face a lot of difficulties. Because uh, as you were going towards uh, Iran, you will get asked for passport, for Irani passport. So we didn't have no Irani passport. Two cars, two four by four, was full of people, asylum people like us, going in the desert without lights on, and it was just terrifying, scary. But we just got through it, like you know. We said from the beginning it's gonna be England or it's gonna be death. So we agreed on that, me and my cousin. And we, and then we passed the border after Iran. Uh, we gone to this uh, this house where they keep the asylum seekers. The house in Iran was uh, really horrible, really horrible. There was uh, ten people already inside the house, inside the one room and one toilet. France, we were in France for a, for a week, one week. I was sleeping in a, me and my cousin with other asylum seekers were sleeping in a, in a jungle, in a tent made of uh, some plastic, some boards, and then on the floor we were, there was boards only laying. There was no space for me and my, for me and my cousin to go sleep in a tent because the tent was full. So we used to sleep by the fire. Sleep by the fire, stay by the fire, and wake up by the fire. Cause we, cause me and my cousin were afraid to sleep in the middle of big months, where we were thinking some different, different stuff they can do to us, cause we were the youngest. The agent said it was our time, and then they took us to the to the, to the parking of the lorries, and then me and my cousin followed them with the ten other guys, and and two of us. Just only two of us and the other guys were sitting there. They put them in a different containers and me and my cousin, they put them in a separate container. Very tragic thing happened in the container to my cousin. Hold, uh, he had uh, uh, acids or liquids which can uh, kill human beings. So I was in there with my, with my, uh, with my cousin. And the, when, we, when we passed through the France border checkpoint to the other side of the England, in England, I was, I didn't know myself, that's it, when I got in the, in the container, I can't remember what happened to the way from France to England, because I was, uh, I was, uh, there was acids and liquids in the thing, so I was knocked out, I was knocked out, yeah, and my, my cousin died. That's what went what, what I hate cause but but I have but I, I do believe my cousin died because I see him. And he died in the container where it was me and I was uh, and I was safe but I was I was unconscious. Yeah, it's very sad.
to see my cousin die because he made it he made he tried very hard to make it to England all the way where he, we've been to together and his dream ends where he comes in he comes to England in the container which was very sad yeah, we've got two guys the ones on his last legs ones will be assuming his dad's got me pulse yeah if you go on over thank you I do boxing because I love contact sport and I went boxing and from the first day I went to boxing I can remember the gym was nice they had boxing bags hanging and the gym was nice and clean which was not cleaning back home there was no even proper gym back home there was only one bag hanging from a tree and you have to hit it to go to, to learn how to fight but since I first come to that gym and I can remember uh, that smile on my face and uh, the trainer was telling me about the gym uh, when I start and what I'm gonna be and then I see them people in the picture of the fighters in the gym and I looked at them and they inspired me to be like them and from that day on I wanted to be champion, world champion.